To start with, we gotta think about what you eat. We really have to think about the fuel you put in your body. You take good care of your horses, you make sure they get the right essential vitamins, protein, you know, the, you take really good care of your horses. Now, let's look at you. Healthy eating. Eating whole, healthy foods. I know meals are important. I know making sure you get protein at breakfast, lunch, and dinner is important. But what I've learned about really producing our personal best, our brains, our brains need protein. Now, I'm not a nutritionist, so this is just healthy hints that I'm giving you. I'm giving it because I've learned it. This is what I have to do. And I've shared this with so many equestrians and executives and sports people, anybody that I help, I really do go over this. Because if I teach you how to use your brain, we need to know your brain gets the fuel. Fuel, that's what you need. I have a suggestion for you. Learn how much protein you need. There's a website, it's called premierprotein.com. If you go there, there's a calculator on it. It'll give you a guesstimate of how much protein you need. I need 80 grams to sit all day and work and hypnotize people all day for my brain to function. So when you ride and when you show, please, please make sure you utilize this information and get that protein. I use the Premier Protein Shake because it's liquid, it's in a little container, and I can take it with me everywhere. I have one here while I'm recording today. It's important. So think about that and just find a way to add that to your equation. The next thing that I found in helping so many people is that we have to let go of fear and anxiety. You know, what is fear? Is it real or imagined? In your mind, since your imagination is stronger than knowledge, sometimes your fear does turn into the imagination, making it bigger. Now, I know there's a certain element of riding a horse. I've ridden horses since I was a little girl. I've ridden horses my whole life. I'm not taking away the natural instinct of self-preservation to make good decisions. I want you to realize what's a fear that is not real, that you're making it into something. What triggers your fear? Is it being in the indoor ring and the windows with big open doors? Is it because the last place you were, there were birds that flew in and bothered you? Was it something that happened in the past and you brought it to the future? Or is it your preconceived idea in the future of what woulda, coulda, shoulda, could happen? Evaluate that and work on releasing that. Anxiety, where do you feel it? What is anxiety? You gotta see where you feel it. Is it in your chest? Is it in your back, your neck? And then when you feel, know where it is and you can go and minimize it and use some techniques to release it. There's one really good one, it's called bilateral stimulation, where you toss something from one hand to the other. What you're doing is by tossing something from one hand to the other, you're creating a dialogue with the brain that goes from left side to the right side, left side to the right side. And that will stop the anxiety. But if you're in the saddle and you have your hands on the reins, just imagine relaxing your right hand, your right shoulder, your left shoulder, your left hand, and breathe. That will help also. These things will help you utilize the ability to eliminate and let go of fear and anxiety. When you're going through these things and you're working on riding, taking lessons, are you showing or just doing it for pleasure, or you're professional and you're teaching it, however it is, whatever you're doing, I want you to focus on solutions not the problem. Because when we focus on the problem, it's that imagination making it bigger, but we wanna see a solution. Each obstacle is an opportunity. You're learning. What you know is what you know, and what you don't know is what you don't know. Isn't that a phenomenal statement? But it's so true. Creating a solution is a mindset. But the secret here is the brain will produce a solution if you ask it. If you're learning something new and your trainer's really attempting to teach you and going over and over and you're just not getting it, ask your te trainer, your teacher, what's the solution to help me learn this better? Am I auditory, am I visual, am I kinesthetic? 
Am I not comprehending it? That's why my brain's not producing it. Kind of get to that point to see, find that solution to what you need. Now the next one is very important. This one is something I hear a lot. People th take so many things personally. Oh, who's watching? Avoid taking it personally. Avoid lashing back at someone. When you take it personally, you know, you, you're thinking that other person is really thinking about you. Most of the time, most people are focused on themselves. That's a really honest truth. There's some statistics out there, you can Google it. Most of the time, it isn't even about you. Maybe they're watching you because you're their role model. Ever thought of that? That you're actually doing something well or you look really good? How about being somebody's role model by avoiding taking things personally? Really take some time. Think about where you are affected by others and separate yourself from it. Create the boundaries. Stay in your lane. To be your personal best, be in your lane and allow yourself to be who you are because there's nobody else you can be. Have you ever thought of that? You are who you are. You're perfect enough right now and you need to keep that mindset of knowing that's what you're doing. As you go through all these suggestions I'm making, the mental image, the role modeling I mentioned, find your role model, choose a role model. If you're working on a certain discipline movement or a certain thing, YouTube the best and see it and memorize it and see yourself being in that. Create and use the mental imaging detail. Be specific and realistic. And just close your eyes and imagine that's you when you go to bed at night, as you listen to the MP3 that I'm including in this program. As you close your eyes when I ask you to, visualize you writing just like your role model. Whatever you're practicing, whatever you're learning, just imagine doing it. Have you ever heard that statement, fake it till you feel it or fake it till you make it? Role modeling is a, a part of that. Feel it, imagine it, pretend it, and breathe. <sighs> breathe while you're doing it. Because you're creating it, your brain doesn't know the difference between real and imagined. So guess what you're doing? You're creating the roadmap in your brain to do it. You invest so much in your horses, in your training, in every your time, now invest in your brain. Use your brain. Because to do this, there's something really important. Learn self-discipline. The MP3 included in this is a self-discipline MP3. I want you to listen to that. Emphasize working through the challenges. When you emphasize working through the challenges, you create solutions and you create a way to feel the mind is adjusting. You're allowing the mind to make that adjustment. You're creating time management in your life. You focus on your self-talk to keep it positive. And you are allowing that self-discipline to be your routine. To create what that looks like to create how to do it, when to do it, where to do it, and be that you, your personal best. Another thing that's really important, and I find this across the board, let go of jealousy and judgment. Negative energy is created, creates more negative energy. When you're judging somebody else and critical or jealous of somebody else, you create a, a imprint in your brain that you don't like what it looks like to be that or, you're, or be the best or whatever you're jealous of or to be successful, then you create a limiting belief in your brain so your brain won't let you do it because it's gonna protect you. It's so destructive, 
So I want you to really think about not being self-destructive. Let go of jealousy and judgment. Practice elevating what the cause is and evaluating it and finding the solutions to it, then release it and then reframe it. You see somebody or something that you're jealous of? If they can do it, you can do it. So you say, if they can do it, I can do it. If they can do it, I can do it. And erase, delete, eliminate the judgment and the jealousy. You're worth it, you know that? Because what we do from that is we release that and develop inside of you a strong source of who you are through your own self-discipline and through your own personal best. Create an attitude of gratitude. Build a positive emotional bank account. That's right. I am positive. I am healthy mentally, physically, and emotionally. Happiness is contagious and will show in your performance. Happiness, joy. Why do you ride? Really, why do you ride? I hear because I love it. But you're so stressed out about it, what do we need to do about it? We need to strengthen your self-image, your own self-image. So an attitude of gratitude is that you get to do it. The attitude of gratitude is believing in yourself too. Look in the mirror and say thank you. Do you know when you smile, you release endorphins in your brain. Now my daughter pointed out to me one day when I was speaking and she kind of interrupted the class and says, Mom, can I remind everybody of something? And I go, okay, sure, what is it? She says, you can even fake a smile. Do you know it releases the same amount of endorphins? So this person I was watching and I was taking a little class with, and he says, well, in the morning when you wake up, just go straight to the mirror, put your two fingers on each side of your mouth and push them up and make a big smile. And then look in the mirror and see you smiling. Really allow that mindset to strengthen your own self-image. That's right. Because as we choose a purpose and we make a plan, you're going to implement what we're going through here. So I want you to have a pre-ride routine. Think about what you're doing. Plan on it. Plan to have the protein you need. Plan. And a pre-ride homework sheet. What do you want to work on? What are you doing? And then especially the day of the show, have a ride slash show routine. What do you do that day? Write it down. Imprint it in your brain to what you need. As you go through all of this, you're going to develop some really good, strong self-discipline patterns. Consider the type of training and creative new habits, thoughts and actions and speech toward what you're doing and improving, improving yourself and reaching your goals. Letting a goal become an outcome. Let it be what you do. An outcome is something that you create. You have a goal and sometimes goals just keep floating. I always have a goal, but I want to produce it as an outcome. And B, make sure your tasks are created and selective toward what you want. Write it down. Get a calendar. Chunk your time and write it down when it's important. Now, these things are going to help you. These are essential tools in being your personal best. I guarantee them. Remember, with the help of what I'm teaching you here, I want you to also know that the free hypnosis MP3 I'm giving you is incorporating hypnosis, achieving anything you want through hypnosis because it's there to help you. It's helping you reprogram your 88% hard drive. If you need your computer to do something, you've got to install the program to do it, don't you? So help yourself. My gift to you is the self-discipline MP3 because I want you to be your personal best. I really do. I really want you to be who you want to be because every day is better than the day before and you're special 
You are a very special person. There is no one on this earth exactly like you. Be that you. See yourself in the mirror every morning and say something positive about yourself. Remember that you are perfect enough and avoid judging yourself. Have a great day. Remember, I'm here with you. And if you need me, I will always be here. Enjoy your life because you're worth it.